Hello and welcome back to Nine Honey's Everyday Kitchen. I'm Jane DeGraff and today is pizza cheat day. Now I love the recipe I'm gonna show you today because it lets us skip the rolling out of the pizza dough and instead make little dough pockets that we fill with our pizza flavoring, bake in a pan, and that gives us these beautiful pizza topping filled buns to rip apart and share with all the people that we love. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is take 500 grams of plain flour and pop it into our stand mixer and mix with that one teaspoon of salt. So we'll pop that in there like that, give it a bit of a mix. Just to spread it out a bit. Right, to that we're going to add our yeast mixture, which is what makes our dough light and fluffy and puffy. And that I have already been resting here. Now this is 300 mils of warmed milk. And in that I put two teaspoons of fast acting yeast, a pinch of sugar to feed the yeast and get it going, and two tablespoons of oil. And you can see that's been sitting for five minutes, minutes and it's all bubbled up and ready for us to pop in with our dough. So, with the machine running on low, I'm gonna add this until our lovely sticky dough ball forms. We may not need it all, so I'm just gonna watch it as it goes. Our dough has come together beautifully and now we're going to let our machine do the rest of the hard work and knead this for another 8 to 10 minutes until it's lovely and elastic. Okay, that's time on our kneading. Let's get the dough out and have a look. Alright, so you can see it's become lovely and sort of silky and elastic looking, which is great. Feels pretty good to me. So now I'm just going to roll it into a ball take my bowl off the stand mixer, spray it with some oil and we're just going to pop the dough ball back in there, cover it with a cloth and let it rest for one hour to let it double in size and then we will be ready to stuff our dough balls. Right, that's our one hour resting time done on our dough. Let's have a look. Oh, and hasn't that just puffed up in size, which is exactly what we're looking for. So let's tip him out. Oh, look at that. I love the way this dough feels, look at it. What we're gonna do now is called knocking the dough back. We're just gonna work it again to get it ready for the next stage. So we're just gonna give it a bit of a, bit of a knead. Oh yeah, that feels great. Okay, now I'm just gonna shape it into a log and we're going to cut it into roughly 18 equal pieces. You can weigh them if you want to, but I'm never that precious. I just go for it and see how we go because those are gonna make our little pizza pockets that we're gonna fill with the rest of our ingredients. So. Here we go, let's see if I can be neat and even. Alright, there we go. Now I've been hopelessly uneven with these. We've got little ones and we've got bigger ones. But I'm not too fussy about that because it just means that there's one for everyone and you can choose a big one or a small one as you please. Now what we have to do is fill these with our pizza toppings. So I have some four cheese mix which has got some mozzarella and some cheddar and all sorts of delicious salty cheeses in there. I have some pepperoni because my family likes pepperoni pizza. And I have some pizza topping sauce. You can use whatever you like and out of a jar is absolutely fine. And all we're going to do is <coughs> Shape a piece of our dough a little bit flat so that we can put it in the palm of our hand. And you want to be able to fold the edges up over itself. So about that size looks good. <coughs> We're going to take our pizza sauce, pipe some into the middle. You can use a spoon if you want to, don't worry too much. Then I'm going to pop some pieces of pepperoni into the middle like that. And some cheese. I always overfill. <laughs> and then we're just going to take the edges and pinch them all together to close around our ingredients. Pop it all in there, close it back on itself until you have a little dough parcel full of your pizza ingredients. Now what I'm going to do is grab a fry pan that can go into the oven. 
And I'm just going to fill all my dough balls one by one and arrange them around each other in the pan until I filled up the pan and used up all my dough. Here we go. All right, there we go. Those are our pizza filled dough balls. Now we just need to let them rest for 15 minutes before we pop them into the oven. So I'm gonna pop them to one side and while they're resting, I am going to make a garlic butter sauce to paint on top. So. For that, all we need is a whole lot of butter, a whole lot of crushed up garlic, and some parsley. Right, so into our saucepan, we're just gonna put our big piece of butter and melt that down. And once that's melted, I'm just gonna stir some garlic and parsley through and it'll be ready to paint onto our buns. So our butter has beautifully melted and now I'm just gonna pop in our garlic. I've turned it off the heat because I don't actually really need to cook the garlic here. All I'm trying to do is get the flavour to infuse into the butter and pop in a whole lot of parsley as well. Oh, that smells incredible. All the greenness of the herbs and the garlic and the butter all working together. Now you can see that's made like a really runny sauce, which is perfect because we're going to paint that onto our buns as soon as they've finished resting. Right, so our little pizza dough balls have rested for 15 minutes and you can see they've puffed up again and sort of come together nice and close, all tucked up in the pan there. Now all we need to do before they go into the oven is cover them with our herby garlicky butter, which I've got here in the pan ready to go. So I'm just going to drizzle it over and paint it on, onto each one. Spread it all out. Right, I like to keep a little in the pan so that I can add it as we go while they're baking in case I feel like it needs some more here and there. But you can go all out and put it all on at once, it's entirely up to you. Okay, look at that, if you could only smell that. All right, now this is going to go into a 200 degree oven for 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on them and see if they're going golden brown and then take them out and they will be ready to serve. I will be back. Ah. Oh. If you could only smell this, that's our 20 minutes in the oven. How good do they look? It's still hissing a little bit, sizzling and hissing a little bit. All right, now the proof is how they've cooked in the middle. So let's take one out and see if we can break it apart without burning our fingers to see how the middle is. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Oh, yep. He's lost some of his insides, but that's all part of the fun, right? So there's our puffed little bun. You can see it's nice and cooked it sort of steams as well as bakes on top which is absolutely beautiful so oh, hope my fingers don't get burned here we go let's break him open oh so hot look at that cheesy pizza flavors all our beautiful steamed bits of bun you can see the buns cooked beautifully all the way through i am thrilled with how that has turned out it's a great dish for sharing when you've got friends over people can just tear it off i've served mine with some extra garlic butter for dipping because why not thank you so much for joining me for nine honey's everyday kitchen with our pizza dough balls and now you can leave me here with my little pizza pocket surprise i will see you next time mm.